Mose drifted towards the outside of the first lane and Hoskinson thinks there's a gap and she's found it. Side by side, shoulder to shoulder, the crowd roaring Mo on. The Olympic champion is just about going to hang on and become the world champion. Hodgkinson less than a step behind. But Inga Britson's shoulders are composed. They're tripping in the background. Grant Fisher got a heel clip. But look at this from Jakob Inga Britson. He's beaten the Olympic champion over 10,000 metres. He's beaten the Olympic champion over 5,000 metres. And Jakob Inga Britson does finish Eugene as a world champion. Champion Alison being roared home here. The Americans finished the men's program in style. Once they took the lead, there was only ever one team in it. Such a special athlete, such a special, special 10 days in the United States. And it is going to be a glittering golden finish for Sydney McLaughlin and the Americans. 317.7. My like in the hambo. The gold is hers. Can she finish with one last flourish? Oh, what a jump. Magic Mahambo delivers again. Kenny Harrison got a good start. It's pretty even at the moment. Now the American coming away, and so too Toby Amerson in the middle. And Daniel Williams for Jamaica running well. Amazon from Harrison. That is a massive world record. Amazon is in green. Camacho Quinn second from the left. The Olympic champion's been left a little bit at the start by Armstrong. Amazon now beginning to come through. So too is Anderson. Toby Amazon, look at the clock. I cannot believe it. The wind reading has transpired to mean it is not world record legal. Speaking of world records, Duplantis. Is it on? Oh, that's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. How could we finish any other way? than with a world record from the greatest pole vaulter our sport has ever seen. You could not script that any better. No way, cleanly this time, none of those problems we saw in the second heat. And Damien Warner using all that speed that Dan O'Brien was telling us about might come under pressure from Ash Maloney. No, Damien Warner holds on for a victory ahead of his Canadian teammate, Lepage. He came through for second place. Kevin Meyer, third round attempt. Foul in the first, seven metres and 51. I'm sure he doesn't give away any more points to this field with this final round effort. On that one, he'll finish with 7.54 and a big seasonal best for him. It's here we see the world record holder. 14 metres and 98 in the first round. World record holder, double Olympic silver for 202. He's coming alive in this competition, Dan. Meyer's beginning to recover a little bit here, but it's the defending champion, Kaul. Kevin Mayer ran conservatively, but being his first 400 meters of the year, not surprising. Way cleanly, Kevin Meyer, good to the first hurdle there. This wouldn't be a super strength for Kevin Meyer. Took to hurdle there in the middle. Laplage coming through, but it is Aidan Owens de Lerme putting pressure on the Canadian on the outside. He falters. And it is Pierce Laplage who comes through for the win there. And he liked that. Big cheer from the tall Canadian. And that's a humongous personal best if that's ratified. 14-0-5. Here's Kevin Mayer, also another good discus thrower. We haven't quite seen Kevin Mayer come to life yet. He looked a, a bit more energetic in the in the high jump, but for me, I don't know if there's nerves in there. Oh, that's better. That's what we want from the Frenchman. <laughs> that discus just bouncing over the 50 meter line. Kevin Mayer. That's nice off Kevin Mayer. <laughs> oh, that meant a lot to him. Five metres and 40 centimetres is an outdoor season's best. That is 1,035 points.
Meyer, second round. Remember, he is the world record holder, and many people believe he's going to take this gold. He likes it. He likes it. Oh, my gosh, he's going to absolutely love it. But Kevin Mayer is back on top of the world. Mayer is destined to take a gold medal back in his hand luggage. And he is a spent, spent force. They are uh, about to get underway. So, off they go then. 35 laps of this circuit and straight away, like a rocket out of the blocks, like a rabbit out of the blocks. One of the uh, Japanese tears to the front. Daisuke Matsunaga for the first 20 kilometers was uh, self-destructive. There was no way he could maintain it. It is the bell this time then. Astano comes through the Olympic champion at 20 kilometers with a lap to go. Masatora Kawano has put up fabulous resistance, but had eventually to succumb to the constant pummeling, the attack, lap after lap. And through the last few hundred meters, the acceleration of Massimo Stano has been irresistible. You can see Kawano there trying to come back at him, but he's going to run out of road. It is gold for Italy. There is uh, Perseus Kaltrum. He is, in fact, in third place. Oh, boy, what a bit of adrenaline can do for a tired man. You know, it's been good. You know, I came in with a mindset of, you know, relaxing and executing and just trusting the process and focusing on myself like my coach always tells me and everything will play out. And I'm thankful to the man above that I did just that today.